Let's talk about the vectors in two-dimensional space which are given with the two points, the starting point and the ending point. For example, the vector is given was the starting point A was the coordinate T in 1 and ending point was the B was the coordinate 3 and 4. Then we can draw the vector like this and we can denote the vector was A, B vector. So what we want is we would like to store the vectors with only one point and in order to do this, we would like to move the vectors. So we can move the vectors in two-dimensional space to, to anywhere else if we don't change the length and direction of the vectors. So the idea of saving the store would be to move the vectors to one place, which is clear for us. For example, we could move the vectors to the origin. So why don't move the starting point of the vector to the origin? In order to do this, we need to make the starting point of the vector to be equal to the zero, right? So a with the coordinates t and 1 should be made to be equal to the zero. In order to do this, we need to subtract this from itself, right? Then this is going to be zero and zero. So since I subtracted a coordinate t and 1 from the starting point, I have to do the same with the ending point so that nothing changes, right? So that the direction, neither the magnitude of the vector, uh, of the vector do not change. t and 1, it's going to be the coordinates of the ending point of the vector 1 and 3. So if I draw the vector 1 and 3, was ending point 1 and 3, this is going to be the same vector. So now the vector starts at the origin 0 and 0, and the ending point is equal to the 1 and 3. And this vector I'm going to denote as the u with this small Latin letter, and it is going to be equal, and here I need to write the coordinates of the ending point. So instead of storing the vector with the two points, the starting point and the ending point, now we would like to store the vectors with only the ending point, and we are going to denote them like this. So this kind of vectors are called the position vectors. So the position vectors start from the origin, and if we are given a vector with the starting point and the ending point, so where the starting point is not the origin, then we can obtain the position vector by subtracting the starting point from the ending point, and this is going to be our position vector. For example, if the vector is given with the two points, starting point and the ending point, then the position vector is obtained by subtracting the a from the b. Right? So we would like to write down the 5t minus 4 and minus 1, and we, would, we are going to subtract these two points component-wise, right? 5 minus 4, it's going to be 1, and 2 minus minus 1, it's going to be 3. So our vector here is defined with the points 1 and 3.